Right then, this video, very short video this one, is about the World Wide Web, the internet, and the and an intranet. Okay? Three terms that confuse some people. Now, internet and World Wide Web are the tricky ones really. Intranet, as we'll see later, is actually quite simple. Um, but people use the World Wide Web and the internet interchangeably. In fact, more often than not, they just use the word internet. Very few people really talk about the World Wide Web as such. Um, and generally speaking, they're wrong. Which is just one of those things, okay? Um, because actually, the World Wide Web is a collection of web pages that are linked together by hyperlinks. And broadly speaking, they're written in hypertext markup language, okay? So the World Wide Web is a collection of web pages. And that is what we think of as the internet, broadly speaking. Now, like I say, most people who think that are, are slightly wrong. They're not completely wrong, but they're slightly wrong in the sense that the Internet is much bigger than this. Okay? If we think of a Venn diagram, because I quite like Venn diagrams, if this is the universe and this is the Internet, then this is the World Wide Web. And we have various other things. We have things like email, which crosses over both. We have some email that isn't on the World Wide Web as such, in the sense that it's not about going to web pages to get your email. Some people get their email via services like Outlook, Outlook Express, and Thunderbird. Um, some people go to the Gmail website, go to the Hotmail website, or go to their own whatever email service they use, that website, in which case they're using the World Wide Web to get to their email. Okay? Um, and there are loads of other things you can do as well on the internet that aren't associated with World Wide Web. And if you want to know some of them, watch the Protocols video if you haven't already, because um, I talk about some of them there. But there's things like Newsgroups and Usenet, um, there's things like Telnet, there's things like File Transfer Protocol, um, there's things like IRC, and a whole range of things that were around long before the World Wide Web, but are definitely a part of the Internet. Okay, So the big difference there is that the Internet is to do with this connection of computers that are joined together, I can't draw, that doesn't matter. Okay, so the internet is to do with all these computers that are connected together. I have another one here. And we get the idea. Okay, this is the internet, it's having the servers being able to talk to each other and send data, to send ones and zeros to each other. The World Wide Web is about a collection of web pages that are running on these servers that you can then access from anywhere on the internet. Okay, and the World Wide Web is different, it's a part of the internet, in the same way that a car is a type of vehicle, but it's not the same thing as saying that all vehicles are cars. Okay, the World Wide Web is part of the internet, but it's not fair to say that the internet is just the same as the World Wide Web. It just isn't true. So hopefully you've got that idea, and that's quite a simple idea really, I think, um, once you think about it. And then the other thing is an intranet. Okay, so we've got an intranet and an internet. Now the internet is about sharing things online with everybody, well not necessarily, but being connected to everybody, this global network of computers that can all talk to each other and, and that is external in the sense that it's pointing all over the place and anybody can get to your website, those kind of things. Anyone can access your FTP server, anyone can access your mail server, assuming they've got accounts and they're authorised. An intranet is internal only. So in a school, um, you might have an intranet with things like pupil data on. Um, sometimes they're hosted in a way that you can access it from outside, but generally speaking, that kind of sensitive information is held internally. Um, things like, uh, I don't know, a, a travel agency might have an internal website where you can search for holidays internally. Staff can search for holidays, but you don't want that the whole thing made public. You've got a separate part that's available on the internet. Okay, so intranet is for internal things, internet is for external things. And again, once you think about it, that, that, makes, that makes sense, really. Okay, so if you're familiar with those, brilliant, and we can move on.